Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. And if you have not yet been here, my name is Kelly and I do all sorts of unboxings, try-ons, I, I do reviews. And today, I actually want a giveaway. So I'm going to be unboxing it. It was from a, a YouTuber, her name is Lori. It's Lori's Life. And now it's kind of hard to find her channel because she has an apostrophe between the I and the S at the end. And if you don't put that apostrophe there, you're going to come up with some completely different person. So it's Lori's life. It's I'll, I'll link it down below anyway for you. So it's L-O-R-R-I-E apostrophe S and then life. She is, um, she's blind and uh, I, I know she won't mind me saying that because, uh, you know, she does tell you on her videos. She's the sweetest lady ever. She has, I think, about 150 subscribers. Uh, you know, I don't have too much more than that, but show her some love. I mean, she's just so sweet. But I'm going to go ahead and show you what she sent me. It's in this big box here. And uh, let's see. I know what she sent me because I saw it, you know, obviously when she was packing it. And I... When I won it, I went back to the video to see exactly what I won. And it was just so exciting. This this was a great, great giveaway. But anyway, paper, bubble wrap, bubble wrap. Okay, so we're gonna start with um, the smaller things. This is a daily hair wrap towel. It's supposed to help your hair dry faster. Did I come with scissors? I did not come with scissors. Oh, look at that. It just zips right off. Easy enough. No scissors needed. Let's see. Since I know I'll be using this, I'm going to go ahead and open it up. So yes, indeed, it is a hair towel. I've never really used a hair towel before. Hmm. Yeah, this is going to, um, you know, it's for, I guess it's for like when you, you wrap up your hair or whatever, but I'm just going to use it like a towel because I can't figure this out. That's way above my head. So I dropped something down here. Um, yeah, it doesn't come with directions, so I can look it up online. I'll figure it out. And then this was a little coin purse. I saw her put this in there. It's a rose and it is a little coin purse. I thought that was just so adorable. This is so cute. And she said, yeah, here it is. It's like a, you can put it on your wrist to hold your, um, just, you know, I don't know, just to hold your change or whatever. I don't plan on doing that because on my wrist, I usually like, you know, little dainty things. But uh, yeah, this is probably gonna be more of a decorative piece for me. So this is very pretty. Very happy with that. And then this little item here, a little whale, and it says welcome. I like this. I do have um, part of my, a little section of my home with like seashells and, you know, just beach, beachy things because I like to, uh, I like to, Think about home, California, where I was born and raised, your Belinda, in fact, California. Uh, but yeah, this is cute. I like this. I am no longer in California. Wish I was still, except those wildfires, they're pretty scary. I know my parents still live out there and my sister and, you know, but so far I think they're pretty safe from the wildfires. Uh, I haven't heard anybody say anything about how close they are to them, but I'm pretty sure that, you know, they would have told me if they were in any danger. Uh, but here is, uh, it says it's an undergirl mini. I'm not too sure what this is. It's a facial cleansing device. This is a facial cleansing device. Oh, this is neat. I'm going to have to test this out probably on video when I, when I figure this one out. This is really cute. And pink is my favorite color. Don't know if you guys know that. And then she put this in here. This is a charcoal and lavender bath bar. It's all wrapped up. 
I'm gonna unwrap it because I'm keeping it. Let's see, let me smell it. It doesn't have a very strong scent. I thought I thought it would. I mean, it's, it's a nice scent. Some dog problems over there again. Every time I sit to do a video, she either wants to go out or, or come in or something. She's always just not happy. I don't know if it's the lighting in here or what's going on, but it sure looks dark to me. Um, so I don't know. Let me see if I can fix that. Hold on. I just brought, I just brought the video closer to me. I don't know if that made a difference, but, uh, the sun is setting. So if I had it face toward the window, you wouldn't be able to probably see me at all. And then it just looked a little dark. So I just put it closer to me, but this soap, it doesn't have a very, um, very, uh, what am I trying to say? Strong scent. Just a very mild scent. I like it. Okay, so the next item here is a mud scrub. This is charcoal and tea tree scrub mask. And I do use uh, these masks a lot. So I'm sure I'm going to get some use out of this. And then, you know, all of that came in this little cute, cute bag here. Pink. Love it. Now I want to show you the big prize that I was so excited about. What's the name of that company? Belonzo, I think. That's that company that everyone I see on YouTube that could afford it is subscribed to it. They send you a new handbag, I think, every month. Um, and, you know, it's something that I've always wanted to do. But, of course, you know, I just can't. It's not in my finances right now. But I got one. I won a Bonzo bag from Lori's Life. I love it. It is so beautiful. So it's perfect. It's my it's the size I like to carry around. And look it in there. There are some more goodies. Let's see what else I got in here. Oh my gosh. I saw her put this in. I didn't know how pretty it would actually be. Like holding it. I mean, this is really pretty in person. A lot prettier and shinier than when, she, when I saw it on, on camera. So this is really nice. This is by Chris, Chris Lou. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, but it is a bracelet and earrings. I'm pretty sure that's a, bra a bracelet. It looks too short to be a necklace, but that is very pretty. Love that. This is a nourishing and brightening two-step sheet mask. Two steps is a lot of steps for me. I usually do everything in one step, but that's okay. I will do the two-step. I might even do that on camera as well. So this are more masks. I actually have this and my daughter and I, we use it. So this is, um, this is really good. I would like another one. So I'm glad I have one. So really, really nice masks in there. That's nice. And then looks like uh, Beauty Creations, uh, Cali Chick, which is California girl. I still consider myself a California girl, but I no longer, I have not lived in California now for I think it's been, let's see, my son is 15, so it's been about 14 years. I've uh, We moved to Illinois because my husband's from Illinois, and uh, when we got married, he wanted to come back and live out here. You know, I should have said no. Should have, should have, would have, could have, but didn't. And here we are. But um, I also got my four-year degree uh, in Michigan. So it's not like I was totally not used to the cold. I mean, I, I knew what I was getting myself into, but I also knew that after I graduated with my bachelor's degree in Michigan, that I, I never wanted to live in, to, in the cold again. So I headed straight back to California when I was done. And then I got my master's degree out there and now I end up back in the cold. Oh boy. But anyway, this is a little, oh, it's a, it's a great palette for the fall. Look at that. Those are beautiful. 
colors for the fall. I love it. I really, this is really neat. They have Venice, Malibu, Marina. These are just the names of the eyeshadows. Beach Babe, a Laguna, Sunset, a Boardwalk. And I mean, this is just, that's definitely so me. Oh, let me put it back in the, the case here, upside down and backwards. That's the way I do things. All right, then this thing here says it's an eye clip. Don't quite remember this the iClip wallet. Let's see what this is all about. Okay, well, I still don't know. The iClip wallet, let's see. I, I don't know what this is, let me see. Um, here's kind of what it says it is. iClip wallet. I'm gonna have to figure this one out and uh, get back to you all because I think this is supposed to go on my my cell phone I'm not really sure I don't know now you know I'm looking again and the the lighting is looking pretty bad I don't know what to do about the lighting let's see I just moved the the, the uh, camera again don't want to get too close and up in your face okay a sheet mask for Elise perfect and then uh, this says when, right? Is that what it says? When? Uh, glamour base. I believe this is also a sheet mask. That's what it looks like. Get use out of those for sure. And then a fruit sorbet eyeshadow palette. This one, it looks so pretty too. Uh, and I love like blues and greens. Uh, you know, I, I really do. I love the colors of, look at this. I know it's not too fall like the blues and greens, but you know, I, those are the colors that I like the most. That green one is so pretty. Oh, I'm going to get some use out of this. I love this one. I don't remember seeing her put this in there actually, but there's so much stuff. It's hard to remember really. I mean, it's just packed. Um, this is for under eyes. You all know that I've done a few testing on under eye uh, products, masks. So maybe I'll put this one to the test next. Uh, let's see what else I got here. Okay. These are salon gel. The, this is for your nails. Uh, I have not. Oh, there's the light. That looks better. I think it's because the sun finally went down. So half of this video is probably crap. <laughs> I don't know. I hope you got to this far. I don't know. But anyway, th this is um, for my nails to do my own nails, which I've never done. The only thing I ever do is polish them. And that's once in a blue moon. In fact, I don't think I have polished them since I started my YouTube channel. I don't know why. No really reason for it other than pure laziness. These are glasses. I probably will not be getting use out of these because I wear uh, prescription glasses. These are supposed to protect you from actually the, um, like looking at your iPad, you know, that kind of light, the blue the blue light. So, you know, they're big, they're, they're square. You know, I don't think they're really meant for, for beauty. I think they're meant more for purpose, but I, I use, um, well, <laughs> supposed to be using prescription glasses. I have them. Oh, there's the sun that came back up again. So now, hmm, I don't know. I hope this video turns out okay. Then I got a little makeup bag. And guess what's in it? More stuff. More stuff. I like the more stuff. Okay, so these look like little, uh, I believe these, this is for my eyes. These little, yeah, look at this. What, what do you guys call this a spoolie? I think I've seen people call that a spoolie. And uh, that's probably for eyeliner, is probably what I would use it for. And then they have uh, other brushes in here for like eyeshadow and stuff. These are really pretty. Again, another item I don't remember uh, seeing her put in this. This is really colorful and very pretty. And then this is a, an ink liner. 
Okay, this might be a wet, the wet ones. I'm not even gonna open it. I don't, yeah, I, I think this is, um, I hate to say the wet kind. What am I looking for, the word? But yeah, I don't, I don't use those kind of eyeliners because I would make a mess. And I'm not even kidding. I am not good at putting on makeup. Uh, so that one might go in a future giveaway of mine if Lori doesn't mind. I, I hope she doesn't mind. Oh my gosh, what is this? A brow bar. Look at this. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. And when you open it, it looks like it has a little, is that a brow gel, I wonder? It's a brow bar is what they call it. This is so cute. And it's so pretty. It says it's a true glam brow makeover kit in light. That is gonna be nice. That is really nice. Okay, the story of beauty sponges. My dog loves them, unfortunately. Thank God for dollar stores. But yeah, I'm so glad I got this. This one I think is actually one maybe from uh, Bab Fit Fun. It's got the uh, harder edge on this side and then the softer cushion on the other side. I had one of these before somebody got a hold of it. The um, probably what you probably hear her in the background there. She's outside barking. Uh, I believe this is a mascara. I'm not going to open it right now. I have a lot of mascaras open. This is a brick liquid lipstick. Oh, and it's a matte lipstick too. So I like it. I like the color. In fact, it's very similar, I think, to the color I have on. So, yep, like that. Love it, love it, love it. This is a tattoo liner in black. Let me see. A tattoo liner. Okay, see? Let me see. Let me see if this is... Yeah, see, it's a wet, it's a wet kind kind of smears a little bit. I don't think I'm going to be getting use out of these wet ones. Now that I just marked my arm with it, I doubt people are even going to want this at this point. So I think I'm stuck with this one. <laughs> I'll figure out how to use it. I'm determined now. I have to figure out how to use it because I just put my, I just dipped it on my arm. Okay. And then this is a really pretty necklace okay and if you look this is the back it looks like it's a like a shape like a little purse when i saw her open this i was wondering yes it does it does open i thought maybe it did but i did not see her open it so i'm not even sure if she knew it op it opens you know so unfortunately you know i hope i hope she knew it opened and then didn't want it um, but that's going to be kind of, I don't know what to put in these. Maybe, um, no, I, I don't even have a maybe. I, I don't know. So if you guys know what to put in these, let me know. Uh, I would appreciate it. I would think it would be some kind of a scented oil or something. Scented something. I don't know. It's a mystery to me. And then I believe it, it's a ring. This one, I believe. I think it's an adjustable ring, which is kind of big on me. Um, I'm sure I could make it smaller. So, a silver ring, and silver is definitely my favorite. I don't wear a lot of gold unless it's rose gold. Oh my gosh, 13 minutes in and we've still got more. Look at this, C, and I can't read the name, what is that? Smat, Smatar, I'm sure it's the person's name of who made this. Sorry, I'm sure he or she's not watching my video, so I don't think I have to worry about uh, butchering the name. But this is what it is. This is gold, okay? And like I was just telling you, I don't wear a whole lot of gold. I do wear silver, I prefer silver. This is, uh, looks like a wrap bracelet. 
So you may see this also in a future giveaway. Uh, I like this, this is very pretty. I mean, that really is beautiful. So unfortunately, because I don't wear gold um, jewelry, I'm gonna probably, you know, I'll speak to Lori first, uh, you know, through uh, YouTube and see if she would mind if there was a couple things that I, you know, would like to give out my own giveaway. But I'm telling you about 99% of this stuff I'm in love with. So I think there's only two things so far that can possibly end up in somebody else's uh, home, maybe. Okay, and this is Jasmine Flower Scented Bath tea. It says directions, add one scoop into a warm bath and stir to help dissolve. And it comes with this little spoon here. Now, if I can get a cleaning lady here really fast, just, just one time cleaning lady to clean my bathtub, I would actually use this. Unfortunately, I've never had a cleaning lady, so, so it's going to have to be me. No. Okay. Well, anyway, when I clean the bathroom, um, well, the bathtub, the bathroom itself is clean, but the bathtub, I don't normally focus on that, but when I do clean it, I will definitely be using this. So that will be staying with me as well. Let's see if there was anything else in here. I think, oh, there was, there is... Every time I think I'm done, I look down and there's more. I just, wow. So this is another, I believe this is another Ipsy bag. And it feels like there's stuff in here as well. There is a couple things in here. These two things here. So this is uh, a lip pencil. And I am looking for a lip pencil, you guys, that is not, oh, there's two of them. That is a good color for me because I don't like to wear super dark, uh, I don't want like a super dark lip liner and then lighter a lipstick. I'm trying to find something that's kind of a neutral color. So these are the colors that I, I would think that this would be more of a neutral here. But yeah, these are this is good because I am looking for something because there is a purpose now. I found out why people are lining their lips. So their lipstick doesn't run. And then um, here we got a Thrive Lip Forever lip liner. And it looks like it's this color, which is more of a, I don't know, I would say uh, a red. I mean, it kind of looks like a reddish pink to me anyway. So that would be the color there. And let me see. Like I do wear, you know, lipsticks of all colors, so. I just don't want it darker than, than my lipstick. So I'll play around with these. I definitely will. And I think that does it. Wow. I mean, I can't even believe all the stuff she gave. This is just amazing. So I'm very thankful for her. Uh, you guys have got to check out her channel. She's a great, great person. She also has another channel, I believe, where she shows you um, basically how she lives blind. And, uh, you know, I have not yet looked at that channel. I thought it was the same channel and it was just different videos in her, uh, on her channel, but it I don't see it. So I think it's a whole different channel, which is prob probably linked um, in her uh, information box. But anyway, yeah, I got, you know, everyone's fear about getting their bangs cut, right? Well. You know, my bangs have been growing too long that I've been just like pushing them back like this. And then you see my bald spot. So I went and got my bangs cut. And everyone's fear is that their bangs, when they're cut, will be like up to here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My hair is very curly. I mean, I don't know if you could tell. I mean, it's just like super curly. So, uh, you know, I'm. she wet my bangs and then she cut them. So, you know, I, I'm still brushing them back now, which was not really what I wanted to do. So I'm trying to get it to, you know, of course they're gonna grow. I'd like them to be about that length, you know, maybe the, like the length of reviews with Sue. Have you seen her channel? I'm pretty sure most of you have, if not all of you, but you know, she's got the perfect bang length and 
thickness and everything, and that's what I would eventually like. But anyway, thank you so much for taking your time watching me today. Also, if you can, please give this video a thumbs up. Also, leave a nice message down below, a nice comment. And uh, I would greatly appreciate if you have not yet subscribed, please do so. That would be wonderful. Thank you so, so, so much. And I will see you all in another video. Bye.